Welcome on site to the enlarged Cotterdam for our final construction update for 2010. Hi, it's Richard Snashel here and we're starting off looking at the two batching plants, the concrete batching plants. Uh, the second plant has just gone up. You can see there the American flag and the Australian flag sitting side by side. That's because the constructors of the batch plants are ASI and they're from Colorado. And they actually manufacture the plants in Texas. And there's a team of Americans out there on site. Sometimes you think you're actually when you're down there you think you're actually working somewhere in the States with all these American accents around. There's a series of conveyors of course which will be attached to the concrete batch plants to uh, bring the aggregate over to the batch plants, the stone which makes up the concrete and of course the concrete will be conveyed down to the actual site of the enlarged Cotter Dam wall. The American guys really like to put up flags all over the place and they even stick stickers of Texas flags to the side of the batch plants and uh, they, uh, it's a bit like landing on the moon. There's a couple of silos there being put together for the second batch plant. Now other guys love to be on YouTube. They're always coming up to me and saying, when am I going to get on YouTube? So I'm trying to make sure I get everyone. Here's a look at the existing Cotter Dam. It's actually quite green around. You can see where the rain has had a bit of an impact. Now looking down into the diversion works or the Cotter River bed where of course the Cotter River, the enlarged Cotter Dam wall is going to go. See the old wall in the background there is absolutely overflowing and there's a lot of different work going on down in this particular site. You can see there some of the debris that's washing over the flashboards on top of the old Cotter Dam wall. It's part of this heavy rain that we've had in recent weeks, early December 2010. That excavator's building up a bit of armour rock there where there's a, a pool at the bottom of the old Cotter Dam wall. And there's other excavators and moxie trucks on site there. Now what these guys are doing here in the diversion is taking up some of that original old pipeline, the water pipeline there from the old Cotter Dam wall. Um, is it's been affected of course by the floods and the rain and they're actually having to remove some sections cut some sections you can see there all the beautiful beautifully welded pieces um, of that historic pipeline and that will be um, re retained for heritage value see the bowing of the pipe there it's pretty obvious in that shot so what they're having to do is uh, cut sections as you can see here and remove them and uh, as I said, they'll be retained for heritage value. There's John Mullins there, spends a lot of time in the uh, Cotter River bed. Looking up there at the left hand side abutment wall, all the shock creating and stabilization work that's taken place. That's right across the left hand abutment wall. And there's still the team of guys from Geovert. Um, these amazing guys. They're like Spider-Man, they hang on the ropes and um, they clean down the rock faces using high pressure water, picks, crowbars and really make the um, rock faces smooth and clean. Now we're looking at the right hand side abutment wall, there's tower crane number three. I always think it's a little bit like Middle Earth when you're down in the diversion and looking up you've got the platforms, these scaffold platforms and all these different people doing these different jobs, walking about, there you go, it gives you a bit of an idea, it's kind of Middle Earth comes to Canberra. Lots of shock creating and stabilisation there on um, the right hand, uh, right hand abutment. Now the drillers, I was told by one of these drillers that um, his wife said to him, why aren't there more drilling shots on the YouTube videos? So here we go, some nice, long, detailed shots of these drill rigs at work. And while we're speaking of Middle Earth, I always tend to think of these drill rigs as looking a little bit, um, maybe Doctor Who.
There's a couple of surveyors there. It's interesting actually how high-tech construction work is these days and the, um, the uh, technology that the guys use on site to, to judge depths and distances, how far they should dig, what the rock is like and, um, and it, the operators of all the machinery obviously have fantastic uh, systems in their, in their machines, GPS's and everything. This is saddle dam number one which is currently under construction, it's probably about halfway Probably, oh, it's probably got to come up about another 12 metres in height. The wall for saddle dam number one. And there are two saddle dams at the enlarged cotter dam site and they act as auxiliary dams to the main dam. They're earth and clay and rock dams. Here are three stockpiles of material, different graded material, aggregate, that's used on the two saddle dams. And when that aggregate is put down, it has to have moisture put into it. A little bit like you put water into uh, cement and aggregate to make concrete. You've got to put uh, a certain amount of moisture content into the aggregate of the saddle dams and then that is compacted down to ensure that it's nice and strong. There are those three stockpiles again, looking from the other end. And that green building, of course, is the crusher building where the aggregate is crushed. It comes from the on-site quarry. And that aggregate is um, stockpiled um, for the enlarged cotter dam and is used elsewhere around the site. Now this is the, the second saddle dam, saddle dam number two, which is getting pretty near to being complete. It's uh, over closer to the um, batch plants and closer to the Cotter River, to the enlarged cotter dam site. Got a river bed. There are those surveyors back again. This is a moxie truck coming up past us. They're actually going to be driving the moxie trucks over saddle dam number two across the wall to take the aggregate from the main stockpile to the batch plants for the creation of concrete in those batch plants. It's one of the cheeky operators. great bunch of guys that work on site. This is the main stockpile for the enlarged cotter dam and that's probably got to come up again about the same height. So twice that size to, uh, to have enough aggregate to make the concrete for the enlarged cotter dam wall. So we'll just finish on a couple of shots of tower crane number three. And uh, that's the last update for 2010. You can see the work is really moving along despite the weather. Wish you all the best for the festive season and we'll see you in 2011.